Okay, Baruti, we're back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, let's go back to. Uh, oh, I want to get to something else, but uh, Baruti, that's a that's a interesting name. Was that uh, did your parent put something together? Where, where does that come from? Yeah, my parents gave me that name. Uh, it's my father's name, actually. It means uh, it means teacher in the language of uh, Tiswana from the country of Botswana. Oh, okay. Hey, you should go to Botswana. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Been one there? day. No, I never oh, been. Oh, <laughs> go to Botswana. Yeah, never been. How is it? Yeah, you, know, you and the honey badgers, you'll get along together. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, stay away from the honey badgers. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I no joke. Oh, no, really. Well, where's it, how'd your father get the name? Let me ask you that. Um, my father changed his name. So he, he picked up the name from but 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 from the Botswana. He picked up the name from there, but but he knew what the name meant. So he renamed himself that, and of course he gave it to Okay, great. So, oh, all right, all right. Do you live up to that name? I uh, I think well I think that I do to the best that I can. Oh boy, there's a political answer. Don't you? Okay, I'm gonna ask you one. I'm gonna give you one more chance. Mm -hmm. Do you live up to the name? I uh, yeah, to the best capacity. Oh Lord, <laughs> let me go. Let, 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 I want to hear. Nah, stop, right, stop. Right. I, 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 I can't stand talking to politicians. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, you well, now now you talk about your father. He renamed himself, uh, um, um, and he gave you that name. That seems that's like a conscious what we call a, a conscious name. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Uh, and and from what, all indications, according to even your garment, what 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 does this? What is what, what does all this mean? I like the I like the shades, but I mean this is yeah, original yeah, design. Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell me about the design, because I'll get to that. Because I, I see you, I see you. You know, you, you got the art there, uh -huh. you, you jewelry, but uh, what what is? Tell me about a little bit about your fashion. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, the name of the brand is Libre Brand. Um, the slogan is Freedom of Flyness. So the ideals of the brand are basically freedom, liberation, liberty, uh, autonomy, sovereignty, and things of that nature. So the thing about it is that, you know, for the logo, I chose, um, you know, Hey Ru, but there's some modificationism, you know, with the logo, obviously, you know, artistic expression. So this is this is Haru? Yeah, 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 yeah. That definitely was with, with some aviators on inspired by you know Malcolm X and the various uh, decolonization. Oh, so, so, you got to go a little slower for me. Yeah. So this is inspired from the 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 Egyptian single symbol of Haru. Yes. What is what was it? What is the Egyptian symbol of Haru? First, I'm trying to figure out why you got to this. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Well, well Haru symbolizes on warriorship. You know, and for and from studying uh from studying ancient Kemet. Mm -hmm. You know, um, back in the day, like um, you know, with the story of Haru, you, you know, you know, in, in essence, you know, uh, you know, fighting, you know, against uh, against, against Set or or, mm -hmm. or or Seth for that matter, mm -hmm. you know, the thing about it is that what, what is I took inspiration from that story as it relates to freedom because mm -hmm. in order to obtain freedom, one has to be a warrior in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. So, so the thing about it is that that's why you know I chose uh, Haru to make a long story short, you know, for the logo. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, but this is a. I I'm not a pure. I don't. Care, I shouldn't say it this way. But with the, with the other Hotep brothers, mm -hmm. right? Do they complain about the sunglasses? I'm just asking. I don't. Do, I, you know. No, they, no, no, that's, have, that's you, have you have you defiled? No, no, no. no, no, no. That's, that's, a great, that's a great question right there. And I thought that was going to happen too. But but but. but sorry about that. The thing about it is that I think that they were so enamored, you know, by the fashion that that they they probably just let it go. <laughs> Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Because I thought that that was going to happen too. Because I was, I was about to not do that, but I said, you know what? Let me take this risk, right? You know, right quick. Okay, you know? what other modifications did you make? Um, you know, the the, the wafers or, or or the sunglasses. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that, that specific style of that lens that that was very popular. Uh, during the time of the nineteen uh, fifties and, and sixties, and, and even yeah. some parts of the seventies, and that was around the time of the decolonization uh, movements, and and also the Black oh, Power movement. So, see, so, yeah. so the thing is, that I wanted to add that in because you know, which symbolizes um, freedom and liberation as well, since mm. that that was a time of liberation and freedom. Uh, you know, during uh, our recent uh, history. Okay, let me let me let me make another let me make a connection. I hear that. So that goes from say ancient, the ancient Egypt. To the to basically uh, cool jazz, well, say forties, fifties, into the sixties, and into the sixties, and of course, flyness. Yeah, yeah. To be fly, exactly. that's a seventies, eighties kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're yeah. just trying, and then oh, wait, wait, then then we got the modern two thousands with the get the hashtag. So, oh, so you go to hashtag freedom of flyness. You, yeah. If you go to that hashtag, that we we, we get your exactly, exactly. Oh my god! So you so you 
you're spanning like what 70 80 <laughs> 90 years but you got 90 years of of of, of continuum on you what are you telling right me? right it, it, exactly exactly you know it, it, encompassing a, a whole lot of it, as much history as possible you know with it that's kind of interesting and that's i see the the, the sleeves you got your red black and green yeah rbg yeah for mm -hmm, sure, mm -hmm. for sure. And, uh, and it's just the african pattern on, on, on sleeves what is that about Oh, oh, just you know, just the Kente um, patterns, you know, from uh, you know, from the Akan mm -hmm. uh, over in the Gold Coast or or, mm -hmm. or the geopolitically designated uh, Ghana. Oh, yeah, okay, Akan. Hey, we're we're together. Look, I got an Akan thing here. Yeah. Hey, see, see, okay, okay. This is this is Nasipa, and this uh, and Nasipa. This is a Akan word, and this and this is a wow. symbol. Akan symbol. It means wisdom knot. Wow. Wisdom now. Yeah, see, we're surviving together. Exactly. We're together. Exactly. We're together Same with vibrations. this. Same vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh wait a second, you got jewelry too. Now, what? what um, I don't adorn myself, but I'm just asking. What, what, what's? What? Oh no, 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 nothing deep with the jewelry. It, it, you know, this is my brother. This is my brother's. To be honest with you, it's just that I, I asked to borrow it back in twenty, <laughs> twenty ten or twenty eleven. <laughs> Oh, could have been 2012. Well, 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 yeah, he asked to borrow it. And he never asked for it back. So it's, it's, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to. I don't want to speak up for your brother. I'm quite sure your brother loves you, and he, he, whatever, whatever. But if you borrowed it, it's not for him to try to get it back. It is for you to give it back. I'm just asking. This is just a question. <laughs> no, no, forget that. Forget it. Oh, wait a second. Your hat. Whoa, whoa, what's 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 this? Oh, 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 no, it's a hat I picked up. You know, it, just think big. It, it's not my brand or anything like that. You know, it, think big. Right. Oh, I like it. It's a dog. It's a doggy. Uh, oh, 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 no, it's a bear. It's a bear. Oh, no, you're right. I see. I see. It's a bear. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Right. So I mean, I'm now more hooked up into your fashion. Let yeah. us go back. All, all over the place, right? <laughs> but but here, I'm, but I'm all over the place. But this has something to do with you, which I won't say your political, but your cultural, political, your cultural groundings. And uh, I mean, because I guess we, you know, how we have these, we, you know, we all black. But then we, you know, some people are black Muslims, some people are yeah. black Christians, some people. Then we have the what we call the Hotep brothers, which mm -hmm. see sometimes is a derogatory term. I'm that, right, I'm right, that, you right. know what I mean? I'm a bit Hotep too, you know. Yeah, of course, yeah. you got your Pan Africanists, whatever have you. Right. So, how does this all meld in in you? I mean, you 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 in your fashion, you brought us from seventy years. You have seventy years of 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 of, of continuum on you. But I'm saying, as far as consciousness and how did that, how does that, how do you go from this kind of uh, you know, training from your, I guess, from your parents or whatever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. My, my, my parents come from an African center household, and and also on my on my father's side as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, a lot of the nation of Islam mm -hmm. as well, so that plays a role. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's basically it, right there. You know, and also me living, me, me living. You know, mm -hmm. going through my own experiences in life, mm -hmm. and and then a lot of that influence on who I am today. Well, do you find a lot of um, I I can't I'm sorry to do this because I, I I'm sometimes I have this thing against you know people say but the young people what are the young people doing this and what the young people doing that that that, that, that. to mm -hmm. me it's like an annoying kind of thing you know what I mean mm -hmm. and say no mind but I guess the question really is I'm looking for generational waves you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Um, now you know there's this thing with the sea. You know every seventh wave is a big wave. Mm. You know if you if you sit there long enough, you'll see every seventh wave is a big wave. It's a fact because I <laughs> I've watched this all over the world, right? So I don't know if you're if it, it seems like there has to be another a, a, a wave that a tsunami, if you will, that that seventh tsunami wave that will finally get us to some kind of uh, liberation. Mm. I mean, where are you on this wave thing? You know where? Where do you see? Do you see what I'm? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, making these sense. I think that I do. Okay, well, just ex okay. Explain to me what I just said because I don't know. <laughs> right, 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 right. Basically, you, you said that. Uh, you, you know, metaphorically, as it relates to you know, uh, you know, waterways. Rather, whether we talk about seas or, or oceans or, or rivers, you know. The, the intervals of seven, seven, the seventh wave is usually the most potent wave. Mm -hmm. So, you said as, as it relates to the wave of African liberation. Yeah, our, mistaken, our struggles to, to from. I mean, you, if you want to go back to Blyden, you can. But I mean, if you want to go back to the end of slavery, whatever it is, you know. Mm -hmm. um, how does it? I mean, we've had these waves. Like I said, you know, there's there's the stuff that happened. Say right after slavery, there's the stuff mm -hmm. that happened. 
um, in the 50s, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Then there's stuff that happened, of course, the Black Liberation Movement in the mm -hmm. 60s, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what was happening in the 70s and 80s, but you know, stuff is happening. It, it, if we can say we're in another wave right now, what what do you see? How do you how do you see as it relates to black people? Yes, yeah, but liberation and it's ongoing. It's yeah, ongoing yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, 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 currently we're in the age of the fourth industrial revolution, and I'm going to bring this to the black experience as well. But I'm just going to explain things from a a global perspective as well. The fourth industrial revolution, the age of the digital revolution, mm -hmm. and, and which. Uh, catalyzed to um, cryptocurrency, um, smart cities and innovation mm -hmm. districts, everything being mm -hmm. virtual, the, the virtual reality in essence. Mm -hmm. So so the thing about it is that as it relates to the liberation of, of, of black people, or, 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 should, or should I say an influential majority of, of black mm -hmm. people for that matter, it, it, uh, more than likely it, it would have to uh, be influenced by that space. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the thing about it is that uh, one of the benefits of that, you know, as it relates to technology is that, you know, one is able to see what goes on on the other side of the world instantaneously because we live in the age of instant gratification mm -hmm. and, 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 and Instagram and instantaneousness and, and things of that nature. So as, as it relates to the liberation of, of, of black people, I think that uh, in, in the Pan-African movement, I think that it's easy for for, for folks to, to unify, uh, you know, uh, uh, under an agenda or revolution or movement efficiently due to the fact that... Uh, mm -hmm. You know, sounds, images, influences, slogans, memes, quotes, ideas, ideals uh, have a viriliferous or viral effect now, mm -hmm. you know, c compared to, you know, centuries ago. Mm -hmm. So so, so the thing about it is that I, I think that uh, as far as, you know, with, with black people, it, it had to be like the fourth industrial revolution. I mean, look at what happened, unfortunately, rest in peace with the George Floyd situation. It, you know, people are galvanized globally. Mm. You know, but but the thing about it is that if, if you know, if, if, if exactly if, if our people were, were more organized, uh, you know, with leadership and, and, and also fought for something and not come together based on the tragedy, but 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 based on, you know, survival, you know, I think that uh, a lot of great things could happen. Well, is uh, I question if a lot of great things can happen. The reason why I question is because anything that happens is almost like now, talk about the age, age, age of instant. Let me just take take a second for this. I say, sometimes I say something provocative. I say, uh, sometimes I tell people because I just like to mess with people. I say, you know, you know what messed us up? Soul Train messed us up. Mm. Oh, people, oh, because everybody loves Soul Train. Oh, no, what mm. are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. I said, because it used to be where, you know, if I'm growing up in New York or Jersey, wherever it is, right, and I got my little dance steps, then, then uh, school break comes, June, whatever it is, and I go down south and I teach my cousins, the mm -hmm. dancers, that's a communication. I teach my dancers. Da, da, da. So they're always like six months behind us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you had that, that you had that go on going, you know, and then there's different styles because, you know, the cousin that's coming down from Chicago to visit somebody from South Carolina is different than the cousin that's coming down from New York to visit somebody from South Carolina or some, from, from Oakland to visit somebody yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's different. So they're going to have different flavors. They're going to mix it. Some of them are going to make it their own. You know what I mean? But Soul Train came on. Everybody can watch the same dance, the same moves. And then, there you go. As soon as you have to do the same thing, then what happens? Don Cornelius becomes the gatekeeper, you know, or you know, the, you know. But the thing is, you're no longer. It's no longer disparage. It's not. It's not no longer um, different. Uh, different flavors coming. In. It's the same thing. So now become people become uniform. People become uniform, and then then you're gonna pick a leader. They're gonna say, oh, this is the what we should follow. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, well, now we lose. Some kind of control, or just the control becomes to this one person. Mm -hmm. So now, if you influence that one person, you can mass just change the whole cultures just with this influence of one person. Right, right. You know. So I was just, um, um, with that observation, um, I'm just, I guess I'm just asking: Do you see uh, this new, this new instantaneous? Just, do you see that? Is this good to have a, a, a thing splintered, a, a things back to? Uh, no longer one gatekeeper or whatever it is, or where where are we at right now? With entrepreneurship, with just right, you know. It, 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 well, well, the thing about it is that it, it, is that in essence, it's, in essence, it would have to take the right people to uh, amass influence and power. And when I say the right people, all right, uh, within uh, within the ideology of the Nation of Islam and the Five Percenters, they have something called the poor righteous teachers, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we need yeah. to switch that narrative. We need rich and wealthy and powerful um, righteous teachers. Mm -hmm. And, and and I think that once once African centered folks become um, billionaires, then that could change things right there. That could change the game immensely. But how are they going? That's that's I guess that's my question. How can they become billionaires in a system when the system is still based on that on or in essence 
as you enter, as you're going to be, if you if if you can, you can never catch up to the system that they've mm. created. I mean, yes, you can be a, a cog in a wheel, or you can you know uh, game the system to the best of your ability. But there's always you know because they go to the same school, they share the same information, just like you share you know language with 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 with, with, uh, with our culture. They share things with their with their in, in, in their inner circles, you know, their brandy sniffing circles, or whatever they yeah. whatever they do. So how are they ever going to catch up in this system? Isn't it? That's the, how do how you catch up in the system? How you become a billionaire in the system where they, the whole Walton family, whatever twenty nine of them, I don't know how many, they're, they're all billionaires. You know right. what I mean? Your family, you, you can have twenty nine people in your family. They're not going to be thousandaires. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to figure out how that works. It, it, as far as as far as I look at, uh, you know, people that that amass wealth, you know, in the first generation, that is, mm. it, it's, it's either two ways that that I could think of. And, and, and it's more, but generally speaking, mm-hmm. I think that is these two ways: is either assimilate or innovate. And, and when you innovate, you, you you may have to disrupt, you, you may have to disrupt something, and 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 also come up with the lane and, and meet a demand that, that 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 folks have overlooked. Okay, I mean, look, look at the cryptocurrency billionaires, and millionaires, and, and, and billionaires of of this uh, decade, or or, or, or or let's look at the eighteen forty nine uh, gold rush, or. Or let's look at uh, let's look at um, when, when gold was struck during the latter part of the nineteenth century. You, you see what I mean? It, it, it's 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 a matter of uh, you know innovating or, or disrupting an industry. Well, what? Okay, you say disrupting, innovating. I have a more severe word. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I say we need to destroy the system. Mm-hmm. And now, if you destroy it, you got to replace it with something. Um, let's let's stay with. I'm just that's just a statement. I just said that. I'm sorry. Just just leave that alone. I just put that out mm-hmm. there. Right. But since you mentioned cryptocurrency, when people say cryptocurrency, I I know a bit about cryptocurrency only because when I was studying, well, in South Africa, anyway, my, my research group, they got into it. So I had to, I had to, they drove me in. So I had to sort of study, but, you know, I had to give them a little guidance because, well, because I'm, I suppose, be no more older and know, know how to research better, whatever it is. But uh, the difference there are cryptocurrencies. Then there's Bitcoin, then there's cryptocurrencies. I know you said, but they're saying, no, no, there's Bitcoin, then there's cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin, the thing about Bitcoin um, is that you are your own sovereign. You are your own bank. You are your your, your own entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's not centralized. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Everything up until Bitcoin is centralized, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Everything is centralized. When they want to invade a country, what do they do? They, 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 they get the leader and they exactly. pull his chain. And knock off the head. That's centralized, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So with Bitcoin, you know, they, there's no head to knock off. Mm-hmm. You see, there's this a thing. With other currencies, you know, somebody can still turn off the spigot, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so so there's a difference, I think, between Bitcoin and all the other things. Then now, they're, now they're, lately, people say, now, if Bitcoin becomes the, um, the um, of course, it's going to take a while to do this, uh, becomes the uh, uh, the medium of exchange worldwide, globally, right? You can still create other cryptocurrencies in your area. I'll give you an example. You know, in Italy, when they had those old, this, whatever they had, the what the mob, the mob, the mafia, what well, they call the mafia, the mafia there, what they did was they used the old currency amongst themselves. So they basically ex. They they didn't use a fiat country as handed to them, a currency handed. To them. They used among themselves just to, you know, just to get things done. So you can almost look at that as a that's their own cryptocurrency. So it seems like what's going to happen these days is that each, you know, each country, each little group, you'll use a Bitcoin, whatever, as the the worldwide currency. So you can still trade whatever. But in your little area, you still have your your thing. So you might have a you might have freedom of flyness currency. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was just fashion people. I'm just making this up. You know what I mean? Well, what do you think of that? I mean, what do you see? What do you see is happening with the with cryptocurrency, but or with, with the this new, like you say, the fourth, the, this information age, this the, the digital age, yeah, the decentralization of, yeah. the, of the monetary system, and, and and basically this fourth industrial revolution, this age of virtual reality, this, this age of the metaverse, the metaverse. You know, in, in essence, what what we're seeing is uh. Is, is disruption of, of the way that things are conventionally run, and, this, and as far as uh, black folks, it's up to us to to, to create and innovate. Mm-hmm. You know, we, because uh, this, is, this is one of the most volatile times to be alive, mm-hmm. especially with what's going on. But how, that's my point. If you, uh, 
as, as someone with consciousness, you must know that what it, how many people, how many people in the whole whatever, and I'm, look at people in all over the country, are really what we call conscious. I'm not talking about just being able to say, you know, the pyramids of this, or whatever it is. I mean, but a truly conscious, the, 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 the percentage must be very, 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 very low. Right. And just because we read the same book, we know the same, we read the same books, or we, we all, everybody knows, well, let, let's check out what Dr. Wade Nobles is saying right now, whatever. Right. It, that's, how many people pick, know that, you know, Island of Memes? I mean, how many people know this? It's not that many people. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Small it really is. It co- it's cause black folks go, and black folks, you know, they love the reason why your fashion line would be good because they love to look good. We love mm. fashion, you know. It's, it's witness the sneaker hold, whatever. You know what I mean? So, I, mean, I guess how do we reach those people that yeah they want to show off, they want to bejewel themselves, but their brain is still connected to trying to be, out bejewel the other person. You know, um, um, keeping up, keep going beyond the Joneses. You know, I mean, isn't that Part of our problem, we, we, we uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. would say, we, we, we showboat too much, we, we flash too much, and that's now's the time. Not, now is not the time to flash. Now is the time to I don't know what time. Now is the time for ultimate freedom. I don't know what. what how do you see this? I'm, I'm word salad. You, but you, and that makes a lot of sense. What you're saying, you know, and that now now is the time to you know to find out you know one strength and weaknesses and 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 and, and for us to. Uh, you know, become interdependent. You know, with one another, come together, so 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 that we can make things happen. Because uh, you know, with delegation and with everyone bringing their gifts and, and talents together, you know, uh, I think that's ex- extraordinary things could happen. Well, you know, we're just having a conversation. I don't mean it doesn't. Don't feel like I'm beating up on you or something, like that, or that you're uh, the representative of of, of <laughs> that thing. But um, what I'm thinking of this, people say we got to come together. We gotta, we gotta unite. Da, da, da. Right now, I mean, the greatest gift to me that would happen right now if the AU got their act together and had a and had a a, 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 a visa for the diaspora and all the mm. countries can be on one, have their own cryptocurrency. I don't know something like that. But to come together has to be almost like an external force bringing us together because we we've been on our, a long a long time saying we're gonna bring together and maybe we might bring this group together. Maybe maybe they'll be for a while. We I don't know how this. Come together, well, 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 you know, what well, well, the thing is this, you know, uh, humans by nature are political, and when I say that they're political by nature, it, it, mean, it means to the fact of the matter that, uh, in order for folks to come together, there has to be an incentive, you know, behind it. So, uh. so, so, what will bring about um, black unity mm. would have to be incentives um, for black unity, you know, and I'm not talking about from an external force or an external event occurring and fear mongering mm-hmm. through the media, mm-hmm. I'm talking about. I'm talking about all of us, you know, um, being valuable. And then one may ask, what determines value? What determines value is based mm-hmm. on what other folks deem as valuable, economically speaking, based on based on the um, the market. Mm-hmm. So, so when I say so when I say that, it's like this: What will make someone support this business? What will make someone want to align with this person? What will make someone want to patronize that person? What will make this woman want to mate and procreate with this gentleman and, and things of that nature? So, so the thing about it is that we need to be as valuable as possible, and with being valuable as possible, mm-hmm. from there, uh, folks will feel inclined to want to be around us. And if we, and, and then from the right people, bring in the Afrocentric mindset, the Afrocentric lifestyle, and Afrocentric, uh, you know, pertinence, you know, th- then that could help bring about change mm-hmm. because we need the right people that are influencers. Mm-hmm. And, and and according to you know, you know, the African centered perspective, you know the. You know the right folks would would bring you know that perspective that that lifestyle Afrocentricity, mm-hmm. you know, and to, to the forefront, and, and then from there I think that could that could bring about astronomical and exponential changes mm-hmm. because right now as far as black folks that that are that, that are wealthy for that matter a lot you know they don't have that mindset, uh-huh. you know? they don't have that perspective. No, no, are they sharing that perspective? But if we had the right folks in those positions, mm-hmm. then I think that things could change. Yeah, but then again, you got to, you know, who's the right folks? I mean, I I had I got stuck here in the states last year, and mm-hmm. because I got stuck last year, I started to follow football again. You know, mm-hmm. and it's changed since I've been watching it in the eighties and well, in the nineties or the eighties. Right. And I mean, when I say change, I don't mean just the game. 
I'm talking about all the commentary around it, mm -hmm. all of the, um, the, the, I guess you would call them influencers if you want to put it, the, but the commentators that talk about, a lot of them are ex-football players, mm -hmm. a lot of them, they, they, they're stat people, whatever it is. But I guess um, I'm saying like, hey, the thing has changed so much. And I was just amazed uh, at who influences what now? Mm -hmm. Who has what show to influence what now? You know? So when you want to bring say again you know conscious brothers or conscious people together what do they you know they don't have they're not they don't have a tv network to cow galvanize against they don't have a you know what i mean some commentator i saw uh lebron had i guess there's a brand now that has the red black and green flag with the with the stars you know mm. it must be a brand that has that now and i've seen that you know i have a flag that i got on 2050 it's a long time ago but I, uh, not a long time but 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 i know what that i know that flag when it was created you know but now that's a brand, and just because LeBron is wearing that brand doesn't mean that he's conscious. I'm not, I mean, not leaving LeBron alone, but I mean, right, just nah, because nah, you wear nah, a brand you. doesn't mean that, you know what I mean? But that's out there. I guess that's in some sort of consciousness. Right. I mean, how does that work? I mean, you know, uh, 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 I guess what I'm asking is the, 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 the culture, the culture meaning, you know, the fashion. Um, the the music whatever it is mm -hmm. is it going in a conscious in a conscious direction that's my question is it going do you find it from your understanding going into a more conscious direction or is just is it just a bling and we don't care what the what if you if we're referring to mainstream music no but, but but that's mainstream music but but there's a whole bunch of conscious artists and a whole bunch of conscious music but the thing is that you know we can't rely on mainstream media. And, and, and that's the beauty of social media. Social media decentralized a lot of that, mm. you know, to the point at which one one way to look, but you know, but but it it only it only takes you know a couple of seconds to find conscious music. Ah, uh, I got you. All right, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Hamburuti, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, uh, deep conversation, uh, definitely. Uh, enjoy. Uh, nothing that you didn't know already. You know yeah. all this stuff. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's not in the bill with you because, like I said, I I found your YouTube channel, you know, years ago. You know, and, and the thing about it is, that I was already familiar with your work, so it's an honor to to finally sit down <laughs> and, and build. You know. Well, well, do you have any questions? You or, any, or anything you want to share? Anything that we've said that you say? No, I want to. I gotta clarify this or, or go better on that point because I think. You know, Probably everything to be honest with you, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the thing about it is that you know it, it's it's cool, you know, it's it's authentic, and, mm -hmm. and 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 the thing is that you know the, the intent of this is is to get you know where I'm at, you know, mentally and and, and physically and all that, you know, basically now for archival purposes, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. But yeah. if you need any clarification, then then we can talk for sure. Well, uh, the clarif only clarification I would like, mm -hmm. you know, this is a request. Mm. Is that? Do you have a YouTube? Do you have, I guess you have a, a media presence. You know, you have, um, well, yeah, you have yeah, Instagram yeah. or whatever. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Only thing I would suggest is that you take some time. We talked. We talked along right, and we talk wrong right now. But in your circles, you just have a um, uh, like. I have a playlist that I just do interviews. Mm -hmm. The other times I'm someplace else rambling. I mm -hmm. I just ramble. Yeah, I say yeah, anything yeah, whatever. Yeah. I, <laughs> you shouldn't even pay attention. But the interviews are most important. The only thing I would suggest, and I would suggest that you do as much as you can, is to interview not only your elders, your father, and that kind of generation, or your you know, grandparents like that, but also your young other people that on just what well, we just talked. Just just have a conversation. Mm. Document. Let it go someplace. We don't care because in 50 years, 100 years, when they're looking about, you know, when they say they look at the word freedom, they're going to find your channel mm -hmm. and they're going to be talking, you're going to be talking to some freedom people. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's deep. It's interesting that you brought this up because uh, what I stumbled upon on YouTube was this, and, and these videos went viral during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. These were exchange students that were debating one another on political topics from different countries back in the 1950s and 60s. Oh, I saw that. Yes, yeah. it's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. Like these folks, like like some of these folks are, are deceased, and, and and some of these folks are still alive now. And, and this some are diplomats. Exactly. Like these folks became superstars mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. from video from videos that were sixty or seventy years old. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, and and some of them are still alive. Like you said, some are diplomats. You know, a lot of them are deceased because it was so long ago. But that complements your point right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks again, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. No appreciate worries. You. All right. Yeah.